In this presentation, we will discuss an important point related to remainder theorem. I will explain this point by the help of one example. In this example, 18 is divided by 4 and we need to find out the remainder of this division. The calculation of remainder for this division is very easy. 4 fours are 16 and 18 minus 16 is 2. So the remainder is simply equal to 2. But you can see 18 is the multiple of 2 and 4 is also the multiple of 2. So we can simplify this division further. So we have 9 divided by 2 as the simplified division and the remainder in this case is equal to 1 because 2 fours are 8 and 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. So you can see the remainder in the first case is 2 but in second case it is equal to 1. So the remainders are different. The remainders are changed because we have simplified 18 divided by 4 to 9 divided by 2. We performed the simplification by dividing the numerator by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2 and because of this reason the remainder which is 2 is also divided by 2 is also divided by 2 and we have 1. So 1 is not the correct remainder. We want the correct remainder and to do this we need to reverse the effect of division. The division is made by 2 so we need to reverse the effect and we can do this by multiplying this remainder 1 by 2. So we have 2 as the final remainder. So this is an important point. Whenever you solve any question related to calculation of remainder, always try to simplify the division. Like we simplified here the division. You also try to simplify the division always. But you have to remember by what number the remainder is getting divided. And whatever the number is, you have to again multiply that number to the final remainder. I hope this example is clear to you. And in this example, 2 is the original remainder. 2 is the original remainder. And this one here is the reduced remainder. The reduced remainder. Now we will see one more example related to this important point and this time number 42 is divided by 12 and we need to calculate the remainder. The first thing you have to do is to simplify this result 42 and 12 both are multiples of 2 so we can write 42 as 21 and 12 as 6. You can see 21 is the multiple of 3 and 6 is also the multiple of 3. So 21 I can write as 7 and 6 I can write as 2. Now we cannot further simplify it. So the final division we have to perform is 7 divided by 2. So we have 7 divided by 2 and the remainder is very easy to calculate in this case. It is equal to 1. But this remainder here, this remainder here is the reduced remainder this is not the original remainder this is the reduced remainder so to obtain the original remainder we will multiply this one by three because we divided six by three and 21 by three but still this is the reduced remainder because we divided 12 by 2 and 42 by 2 so we will again multiply them by 2 so the original remainder is 6 so this is the answer. I hope you now understand how to reduce the division and then obtain the original remainder from the reduced remainder. Now we will move to the homework problems. There are two homework problems for you. In the first homework problem, in the first homework problem, the division is 30 by 9. Calculate the remainder. And uh, you need to calculate both remainders, the original and the reduced remainder. In the second problem, 21 is divided by 6. And again, you need to tell me the original and the reduced remainder. Once you have your answers, post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.